I hope you guys had a great Christmas and got to spend lots of time with your family. Today we are going to give a little session here, just working on fundamentals, kind of like trial and error on the mouthpiece and stuff like that. And then we're going to go to the gym. We got push day and then we got another one or two practice sessions. Let's shoot for two because uh, I have lots of music to prepare now that Christmas is over and I don't have any more excuses. So let's, <laughs> let's get to work. Yeah, I'm already starting like a little bit tight and the vibration already on my lips is like eh, when it needs to be. Uh, Still kind of uh, just want to start. Um, And right now I'm really just trying to get, see if I can get my lips to vibrate inside of that cup and get the shank as well to vibrate in my hand. And I'm really trying to like, just improve how I say it and then mouthpiece before I even think about this right now because this is just gonna amplify whatever I'm doing here. So I might as well get this working. And I'm really trying to see if I can get the like siren part to kind of just happen instead of it being so like I'm forcing it out. <laughs> and then it just feels closed off instead of oh. It's a little closer. Still changing the vowel shape. I'm trying to figure out how to like properly do half step bends because I know that it can be super beneficial for your playing. But there's something about it that today and just recently has not been. I don't know, it's kind of there, but I know you kind of need to dig into it more. Uh... That should almost sound like a real no. <laughs> Gotta figure it out. Cause you're technically supposed to be able to half step bend on like every single note, but I know for me, I can't. Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. And my big goal for this kind of part of my playing today is just like, how easily can I get my lips to just vibrate and everything just to like kind of resonate in my hands? Because if I don't get that, then the rest of the day I'm just like, eh, and then my articulation is dun, 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 instead of ta 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 ta. So part of it for me is like if it feels not just easy, but like I know I'm playing well when it like literally feels good. Like it's almost like a massage on my face cause it's like, it's like everything's just vibrating. I'm just like, ah. Oh. And then I know it's not when it's like, I feel all this like pressure on my top lip and like my teeth almost hurt a little bit. That's not what I want. And I think the way to get that is like minimal mouthpiece pressure and just like Brrr. So 
I do think I'm pushing a little bit too hard right now and I'm not quite getting the vibration. So I'm going to spend like the next five to 10 minutes just on the mouthpiece and just like finding the embouchure that actually lets my lips vibrate. So I'm going to cut to me in the car driving to the gym and we can talk more about what's going on today. So I was eventually able to kind of figure it out a little bit better and get my lips to like function in the cup and not kind of have like this embouchure that's like, well, you're making a sound, but it's not the best sound. Anyways, one of the things that I've been thinking about lately is how productive I am when I play and practice because I know for me, if I go into practicing with my phone out, YouTube on, I mean like I'm only gonna get so much done and what I am getting done, I'm not even really focusing on. So this morning, I just like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go outside. First thing in the morning, I went outside. I mean, it's a rainy day. It's, it's, not, the it's not a beautiful day. I went outside and just got exposed to some sunlight. I just like looked up and I absorbed sunlight like we're supposed to in the morning. Like we know we're supposed to in the morning, but we just don't for some reason. We just kind of like exist in our rooms for a while, eat breakfast, and maybe you're getting some sun through the windows, but you actually need to be like outside. So I did that and then I was like, well, I'm already on a streak of doing things that I don't feel like doing in the morning. So I took a cold shower and that jolted me awake pretty good. Um, most of you guys probably don't take cold showers, but if you're anything like me, then you know at least if you wanna improve at your instrument, you have to be like focused because you can't just be in there just kind of like willy nilly, just like playing some notes if you really wanna get better and one of the things to actually be present enough to be able to do that is to have good mental health. And you can't have good mental health if you wake up and first thing in the morning, you're just on your phone scrolling, which I get it. I've done it before, but it's like, just set, your, set yourself up for success when you have the chance. Because chances are things will just go downhill throughout the day if you start it not on the right foot so actionable tip for today get outside first thing in the morning get some sunlight in your eyeballs obviously don't stare directly into the sun but you know just like look in the sky and kind of like absorb it for a few minutes it's been scientifically proven it's really good for you um and yeah stuff like that as opposed to like just looking at your phone and just like scrolling for 20 minutes before you get out of the bed it's going to set you up for things like having a productive practice session or sessions in that day. And since, you know, you guys are probably on winter break right now, Christmas is over, no more excuses, you got time, get some good practice in and then you can do what you want for the rest of the day. You know, for me, I'm going to the gym, uh, but I know not the gym isn't for everybody. We're hitting push day today and Kate, my girlfriend, will be there. I don't know if she's doing push day or leg day, but... I guess we'll see. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is if you're going to practice, uh, don't waste your time and just kind of play your instrument and not be focused because at that point, you're better off spending 30 minutes completely focused and then going playing some video games if you really need to for another 30 minutes than spending an hour while watching YouTube and playing at the same time. My car is freaking out. Anyways enough ranting i'll see you guys in the gym like i said we're hitting push day today we're doing chest on the incline smith machine and then after that we're going to do shoulders more chest yada yada you guys get the deal by now so i know a lot of you probably don't work out and maybe you have your own reasons for that or maybe you do some sort of cardio uh, which is great as well. But if you're not exercising in some way, shape, or form, you're like kind of selling yourself short as a human being, in my opinion. And that might sound a bit harsh. And depending on your reaction to that, if you were like, oh yeah, maybe I am. I think that if you're one of those people, then <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say that, you know, there's hope left as if there isn't hope left if you didn't have that type of reaction. But if you didn't have that type of reaction where you were like, oh yeah, maybe I should be exercising, um, then you know, just keep in mind that 
maybe what your brain is telling you is not necessarily what's best for you. So, you know, I know a lot of people, it's hard for them to get into the gym because of their friend group. Like, I remember in high school, like, there were certain people that I would be around if I told them. Now, I didn't really go to the gym in high school, but I know if I told them, oh, I can't, you know, I can't do this tonight. I can't play video games tonight. Uh, I'm going to the gym or I'm going to the gym uh, in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to go with me? You know, they, instead of being like, uh, no, but have fun. They would literally tell me like, you're weird, you're stupid, uh, and kind of flame me basically for, for me wanting to go to the gym. And I know that a lot of people are in that situation where it's like, they know what's best for them. They know that their health is like extremely important. I mean, for me, most of the best musicians I know in school, in college, all of them go to the gym. I mean, at least the majority of them, because they know, like, if they want to be able to be a functional human being, you have to be healthy. And you can only be so healthy, you know, without some sort of exercise. So if you're if you have friends who tell you or who, you know, will like make fun of you, if you tell them that you're going to make your life better and you're going to go to the gym or something like that, something good for you that you know is good for you, then, you know, this is going to sound really harsh and some people are going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa I'm not going to do that. You might want to consider getting new friends. Like, I'm not, I know it sounds a bit ridiculous because you're like, oh, well, like, those are my friends and, you know, one of them is my best friend who would say that type of stuff. It's like, are they really your best friend though? If you tell them what's best, you tell them you're going to do something that's really genuinely good for your health, and they have that sort of reaction where they bring you down instead of, you know, helping you, helping build you up. I don't know. I think that having that sort of, sort of front of your life, because you might know this, you're basically the sum of of the five people that you spend the most time around. And so you should sit down maybe at some point and ask yourself like, okay, who do I want to be as a human being? And then if you are if you have five friends or even just a few friends that are not even close to who you would like to be, you know, but maybe if you're in high school, who would you like to be, you know, going into college? Maybe it's time to find new friends and I know it sounds harsh but like just think about it and I know most people won't do this but those are probably the people who are going to be you know a bit miserable for longer than necessary it's like peeling off a band-aid if you have a terrible friend who's like why are you practicing right now or why do you need to exercise or they even worse they like they literally make fun of you they call you names for like practicing get on and they're like dude just get on just get on this game it's more important or whatever um not saying that that's the exact scenario for everyone you know it's different for different friends but you get the point it's like you don't need to be surrounded by these almost like crabs who are just like they got their pinchers out and they're like you're like trying to swim you're trying to swim to the surface and they just keep like grabbing you by the ankle and they just pull you down to like their level it's like i know it hurts if you've been friends with somebody for a long time and you might be you might be thinking to yourself like oh no because i have a lot of fun with this person we have a lot of fun together so you might be thinking to yourself like you know we'll just stay friends because we have fun so and that's what that's what being friends is about and yeah in high school yeah it kind of is about that but you know where do you want to be after high school because if you have a friend group of people pulling you down when you say you want to exercise, when you say you want to get better at your instrument or whatever it is for you, because I know not everybody here like wants to play their instrument into their, you know, being an adult. But I mean, everybody, most chances are if you're here, you want to get better, right? So I know it's like a, it's a much harder decision to make than it sounds like. It's like, oh yeah, just drop your friend because you're the five... You're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Simple. 
but I know how hard it is, especially if you've been with this person, like, through, through kind of, like, thick and thin for, like, multiple years. I, I understand. But genuinely consider, like, how important is it to you that you get where you want to go in life? Like, how important is it? And if you're completely honest with yourself, with yourself, you'll say, oh, that's, like, the most important thing, right? And, you know, it might not be for, for some people, but it's really important, like, what type of life you have. Like, when I think about what type of life I want to create, it's, it's a life that consists of, like, a lot of hard work because I know that that's what, like, that sort of work is, like, really fulfilling to me. And to some people, that might sound crazy. And they are most likely somebody who would be really fulfilled by hard work, too. But they just, they have too many of these distractions and like sort of instant gratification activities in their life to enjoy the work. Because your dopamine, I, now I know I'm getting, I don't even know why I'm going on this rant right now, but <laughs> basically let's say that instead of, instead of, this is like a super basic example, instead of practicing your instrument, you play some video games, right? And I know most people listening would be like, well, yeah, like video games are fun. We play video games all the time. But if instead of practicing, you play some video games in, in this example, you are skyrocketing your dopamine short term, right? Because your dopamine isn't pleasure. A lot of people think it's like, oh, that's the feel good, like uh, whatever it's called. It feels good for dopamine. But dopamine is actually based on your motivation to do something, which is kind of interesting to think about. So when you do something like uh, like playing video games, which you're super motivated to do, right? Like you want to play. After you play the video games, your dopamine level, so basically like your like motivation that you have left to give, you your dopamine levels, your baseline dopamine dips below the baseline after it spikes from playing the, the video games. So you can imagine if you tell yourself, oh yeah, I'm just gonna play an hour of video games uh, and then after that I'll practice. You can imagine that with knowing that about dopamine, you can imagine that you are going to be less likely to even like feel like practicing. And I think it's important to be able to practice or go to the gym, you know, in this example, uh, without feeling like it. I think that's important. That's sort of like your discipline to like do something that you don't want to do. But wouldn't it be nice if you actually wanted to practice like all the time and you like wanted to exercise and feel healthy? Wouldn't it be nice if like, instead of you feeling that huge craving to play the game, wouldn't it be nice if you felt that craving to do something productive that you know is productive? It's just something that, you know, I, I think about pretty often and I know that I'm, I'm not the best at it. Like I'll go through phases where like all I do is, are these like, <laughs> are these like activities that I know aren't good for me and make it so much harder to do that sort of like hard work that is like fulfilling. So I think that your exercise and your physical and mental health are extremely important. If you couldn't tell by this like ridiculously long rant. And so if you have friends that are bringing you back down because you tell them, I'm going to start exercising, it's like, you know, you can do what you want with that, <laughs> but I would honestly recommend either, you know, pushing for a while, telling them like, no, you should too. This is like really important for your health. And if you care about yourself, if you like respect yourself as a human being, um, why you know why wouldn't you do something that you've known since you were a kid is like extremely important for you like i can't like i feel like i would just feel sad all the time if i didn't get some type of exercise in and so this is kind of like the gym for me is like almost like an escape a bit you know because it's like if you really look at it it's like we're just having fun in here like it's almost like playing on a playground you know, at first it's like, oh, this is really hard on my muscles or hard on my legs to run for this long. You know, whatever your choice of exercise is. It, oh, it's like, at first it's like really hard, but eventually you get kind of addicted to it. And for me, I, I'm like an addicted.
addictive like i have an addictive personality so i know if i want if i'm going to be addicted to something i might as well make it something like you know going to the gym or something but anyways i hope i hope at least a couple people after hearing that were like oh yeah <laughs> maybe i should start exercising more but again like i understand it's it's something that's really hard to like actually start in your life and unfortunately it is a bit easier for like certain personality types to because everybody should exercise like i think that everybody knows that everybody should do some sort of like some type of exercise throughout their life but you know it's hard when like some people like like me for example like when i went to college i immediately knew i was just gonna start going to the gym i didn't really know what i was gonna do yet but i just kind of knew because you know growing up i was always like active and like doing push-ups push in my room and stuff like that at like 12 o'clock at night you know i was just kind of that like kind of weird kid who was kind of predisposed to like wanting to like you know improve my health and stuff and you know it's kind of weird and I i'll admit it's a little bit weird but it shouldn't be weird like that should be like you know i feel like more people would enjoy their like life more if they kind of wanted to exercise but you can't like it's hard to want to exercise if you don't already do it so just kind of go through that month or you know however long it is for you because some people would you know it takes them two workouts and they're like all right i'm addicted <laughs> but you know just go through that period and if you don't like it chances are just find a different type of exercise for you and you know hopefully that that will like work for you to like get into this sort of lifestyle so we're back and it's time to actually spend some time figuring out the sound and then after that i think we're going to look at some audition material and i think we'll do one more session later and look at some other audition material for the cornet but right now we're just really focused on getting the right approach so that everything else uh, works. One thing I'm trying to improve at is where I'm looking with my eyes because one of my tendencies is to have the horn here and musically I'm thinking this way and that's where my eyes are looking. Like I'm looking up at you, but my horn is down here. So there's like a disconnect in where I'm looking and where I'm actually playing. So I'm trying to both bring the horn up and also with my eyes, instead of looking all the way up there, just kind of looking down the lead pipe and kind of directing my, I, I guess my sound into that. sound right now it's kind of like it's kind of like fuzzy a bit um which is going to happen sometimes when you're kind of getting warmed up but i am getting my instrument to vibrate in my hands which i'm more concerned with because that means kind of that the sound is coming from the right place and it's not coming from a place of like tension <laughs> I'm kind of happy that's happening right now is I think that extra mouthpiece time I spent earlier um, kind of helped me not place the mouthpiece into my face and kind of just place it right there. And just kind of 
kind of have it exist there. My, I don't know if you can hear it in the recording, but my stand over here is like ringing, but it's just kind of just existing and not pressing it. And you know, I guess my big goal for this like winter break personally is to find a way to not sacrifice the sound and the sort of lack of effort that I can put into the instrument just to play into the upper register and just sort of find a way and kind of have like no exceptions of going up there and being like, oh, I'm really straining. And it's like, just because I could play that note, I'm hoping to find a way to play it in a more efficient way. I'm just scoring like almost like a lullaby on the Petrushka. Ta -ta 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 -ta. La -da -da -ya -da. Just to make sure that even though I've already played this in auditions a few times, just to make sure that I'm keeping the foundation of like <laughs> what the actual notes are supposed to be and like where they center. So just really easily. Actually, okay, I actually need to do work on this one. I think most of what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sing it and, like, see what I know and go from there. Da, 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 da. Well, that was not completely accurate, but...
take a little break. Uh, come back later, probably on the cornet. Still got work to do. Not a great day for me playing wise, but part of that is just like I needed more time before the gym, uh, just like sorting out my fundamentals. So maybe when I go to the cornet, I'll spend a good amount of time on that. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm trying to get my lips to not just vibrate in the cup, but kind of have both of them kind of in the center, if that makes any sense. I'm way too close. Just like getting them both right in the middle so it's not like one lip is doing more work than the other. I think I'm going to take a listen to some of the music that I need to learn, and then I'll come back. Still learning it, I don't really have the pitches yet, but that's why I'm doing this. Hmm. 
hippopotamus one. So there's this really long run I need to learn and I'm pretty much gonna spend the rest of my time just looking at that really slow and see if I can get it a little bit under my fingers at least. Da, 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 da. Oh no, oh no. Five hours later. Okay. Da, 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 da. By the way, this is for uh, the brass band audition at my school, and we're part of the audition is like this entire test piece, and it's really hard, and I'm kind of stressed about it, but I'm trying to just be like, I still have time. This is gonna be hard. Oh my like so weird. That's less than half of the run at like, I don't even know what the tempo is yet because I haven't listened to this piece yet. I listened to the other one. Um, it looks like the tempo is 148. So this is half tempo and that's half of the run. That's less than half of the run. Uh, but I'm like starting to get really hungry. So I should probably go eat. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to stop it there, even though that was kind of premature. Um, and I didn't get to play that much but yeah so i hope maybe watching me suffer today was a little bit helpful um if you want to watch me suffer more hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you guys are still like like enjoying the gym content maybe you find it useful hopefully some of you um are able to use some of the information and actually go to the gym yourselves even if you're in high school it's never too early to start the gym they say it stunts growth but um that actually is apparently false uh, they found out so go to the gym it's good for you you can just do cardio if you want but uh, lifting weights is fun so I'll see you guys in the next video